Hey guys, it's Katie here and today I want to talk to you guys about the five essentials to set up a course um, in Kartra. So if you are looking to um, set up or um, create your own online course and get it set up online in Kartra, this, in this video, this is what I'm going to share with you is the five things that you need to do in order to get that course um, set up within Kartra. So this is uh, one of my courses and I will just go ahead and show you you know how it looks. Um, you can definitely choose your own template in Kartra, your own colors and um, you can customize it to your own um, course and your, your own likings exactly how you want this course to look when someone is logging in into the course that you have created. I just have a few different modules in here and lessons um, in each module um, but you can obviously you know create however you want to create and however you want to set up let's just go over the steps that you would need to take in order to um, get that course set up within Kartra so we're going to go back into Kartra here and these are just some of my courses that I have created the first thing that you would do is obviously you know record your videos for the course if you know that the course is going to be converting if you don't know if you know your audience are um, in need of this course or your audience will be interested in this course you obviously need to do your uh, market research and you need to um, ask your audience um, specific questions to see and figure out if your audience will be interested in that specific um, course or if um, not even your audience but um, if you would like to obviously promote it with uh, Facebook ads maybe YouTube ads or any other ads um, down the road um, you would need to know if um, this is a topic that people are looking for and people are interested in um, before actually creating the course and a lot of people uh, that I know um, are actually you know creating a funnel first and um, trying to pre-sell um, the course before they start creating the actual course and it's really up to you how you want to do it but obviously before you put in your time into creating the course itself um, you would have to um, know for sure that this would be you know worth your time that this will be selling and people are interested in your course that you want to create and you want to put together and sell or you can simply put together a funnel first or um, a master class or something that's similar to the course and see how many people will be interested in it and actually pre-sell the course before you are going to um, actually create it so um, decide on how you want to um, go about it how what you want to do and I will just go over the steps or essentials that you would need to do in order to set up that course within Kartra. So um, as you can see, we are in my memberships. That's where you would need to create a um, membership or a course. Um, so a lot of times when I say memberships, uh, people think that it's uh, like monthly memberships or some type of like subscription based membership which is you know it can be true but it's also just a course uh, that you would put together and you can charge people just one-time payment for this course it doesn't have to be a subscription you know if you don't want it to be a subscription so um, when you see my memberships in Kartra here um, don't think that it's just subscriptions it's also just a one-time payment um, course you know that you would charge for your course so you would go to my memberships and you can actually create portal if you want to put together a few courses um, on a specific topic um, you would create a portal um, and then just put those courses inside uh, the portal um, and people can you know when people buy one of your courses they'll be able to see other courses that are in the portal and they'll actually you'll be able to upsell them to other courses through the portal but if you want to create just a standalone course you can simply do it through uh, memberships here and you would just have to click on add a membership and just go through the steps to set up your 
um, course and when you are going to go through the steps um, it will you know basically take you through the steps to set up this type of course like I have here so um, you can add you know whatever you want to add um, to the course videos you know files texts PDFs ebooks like whatever you want to add and allow people to get access um, to you know when they purchase this course so the whole template and everything you get to choose when you are going through this you know through the steps when you are um, creating your membership um, so just make sure you go through all the steps in there and create um, you know your course create that membership and your course so it's going to be hosted in your Kartra and then um, you would just have to do a, a few more steps in order to finish up the whole um, you know funnel and uh, payments and everything uh, that needs to be set up um, when you are putting together your own online course if you want a specific step-by-step -step, um, you know plan or step-by-step -step blueprint on how to create that course um, I actually do have a digital product creation course which is right here um, that I have put together for you guys you know for those of you guys who would like to learn exactly step by step on how to put together um, a an online course how to put together a funnel for it um, you know traffic generation and everything uh, that needs to um, be done I have it right here in this course and if you would like you know a just a simple step by step process that you can go through and follow um, just go ahead and check the link below this video um, to check out this course that I have for you guys, the digital product creation course. But let's go ahead and go through um, the rest of the steps that needs to be done in order to have your course created and um, online. Uh, one of the most important things that you would actually need to do is um, go to my integrations and I would do this actually the first step. Um, I would integrate your PayPal um, if you want to accept payments through PayPal um, or Stripe. Um, so I um, personally use Stripe for that, but I do have PayPal and Stripe integrated. You would have to connect your PayPal and Stripe to Kartra. So when the payment goes through, so it would go to your PayPal or Stripe, or you can offer, uh, when you're setting up your course, you can offer people to choose you know any of these payment methods um, again i personally like stripe so i just offered them um, to use you know their debit cards and credit cards and use um, stripe that goes to through stripe so uh, all they need to put in is just their debit card or credit card information in when they're purchasing my course and um, it will go you know the payment will go to my stripe account and then um, I can transfer it anytime to my bank account. So um, you would have to do, you know, to obviously integrate your PayPal or Stripe um, or both. And then, um, as I mentioned before, um, my memberships, you know, when you go to my memberships, you would have to add, um, click add a membership and create or set up your online course in here. So the next thing what I would do is go to my products. You would obviously need to create uh, or set up your product uh, for this specific course. So um, because you cannot set up um, a payment process in my memberships, you would go to my products and set up um, a product in um, this, you know, section here so you just click on add a product and you would just go through the process of setting up your product in here again if you want to know exactly how to get this set up um, simply check out you know the link below my video get access to my digital product creation course I do sell it it's not free it's because you know I basically take you step by step and showing you exactly how to set up that online course and how to have it um, you know created and set up within Kartra um, you know I've put in a lot of time and effort when I was putting together this product for you guys so go ahead and check it out if you want exactly you know if you want a step-by-step -step exactly 
how it's done and how everything is um, set up um, so you wouldn't have any kind of you know issues or anything when you're setting up but if you want to do it on your own that's what uh, I'm doing here I'm just providing you these five essentials that will help you um, understand what exactly you would have to set up uh, within Kartra in order to have that course up and running. So you will have to go to my products and you have to uh, click add a product and just follow it step by step. It will outline all the steps over here usually on the top here. So you um, actually go just you know step after step um, and just get it set up. Um, exactly how it tells you to set it up. So the next thing that you would need to have set up is obviously your funnel. So you would have to have a sales page or a funnel that um, you will have in order to um, sell that, um, you know, that course that you want to sell. So if you want to just have, um, you know, just to sell one course, um, you would have a sales page for example, um, I'll, I'll show you a quick example of my sales page that I have here. Uh, for example, something like that. Um, you can have a deadline when you are launching this course, when you have a promotion running, you can actually add a timer to your page. That's what I had here. Um, but you basically need to have a um, sales page that you have, you know, testimonials on, information about the course, what they will be getting access to, um, you know, maybe add some uh, something like what makes us different section. Um, also, I would highly suggest you to add bonuses. Um, I have a like a video training here as a bonus. Um, another video training that I have here for them as well as a bonus and um, a, a course that they get access to another course that they get access to as a bonus when they purchase this specific course that I have here. So, and then a money back guarantee and a just FAQs here that I have on my sales page. Um, it's up to you what you wanna put um, on your sales page, but I would highly uh, suggest to add, you know, um, these specific things to your sales page to make it convert higher. And obviously whatever else will help your course um, convert higher, just add it to your sales page. If you have a few different um, upsells or downsells that you want to do, um, you would obviously need to add, you know, more pages to this funnel, just other than just a sales page and the checkout page. Um, the checkout page, um, I will show you as well. Um, let me just go ahead and um, show you an example of a checkout page. So here is a checkout page or an example of one that I have just a little bit about this course, bonuses, and obviously the um, checkout form that you would need to um, add from your product creation. When you are setting up a product within this product section here, you'll be able to, you, to create that form and to add it to your checkout page. So um, again, I show exactly how this is done within my digital product creation course, which you can check out and learn more about if you click the link below this video. The last thing that I wanted to mention is you would need to have an email sequence or at least, um, at least one or two email sequences. I would suggest you having two email sequences, one for the um, customers and one for the um, people who have visited your sales page or opted in. If you have an opt-in page um, or an opt-in form and haven't purchased. Let me just go ahead and show you an example of one email sequence here. So here's an example of one email, one of the email sequences that I have. This is just for opt-ins, for people who opted in but haven't purchased my course yet. So I've created um, like how many, 11 different emails that are going out um, every, uh, some of them every two days, some of them every day that are providing um, a lot more value to them and just building trust with those leads and helping them understand, you know, why um, they should get this course that I'm offering, you know, how it's going to help them, what is the benefit um, of this course, you know, what they're going to get 
um, out of it and how it's going to help them. So in this email sequence, it's almost like a sales funnel because it's taking them and building trust and um, you know, giving them, providing them a lot of value and um, closing them on um, this course, helping them make a decision to purchase this course. So that is uh, one of my email sequences. I also have a um, email sequence for just customers. So I have um, a few different um, emails that I've set up that my customers get. Um, so let's say someone have purchased my course, you know, in order for them, for me to continue building that relationship with them, I've set up a few different emails here as well. So um, I have five emails set up and they go out every two days. So, um, and then I would um, create a card abandonment email sequence. And I will just go ahead and show you this one really quick. If they land on my checkout page and if they purchase it, it takes them and subscribes them to my customer um, email sequence here. But if they don't, it actually also sends them an email. It says, you know, heads up, your purchase is not complete. And it, you know, it kind of explains to them or shares more value with them. I'll just go ahead and open really quick here um just a few different points why i think they you know maybe something stopped them from uh, purchasing it and why they should still purchase it so um that's one of the email sequences that i also have set up so i would set up you know a few different email sequences with a goal to follow up with your uh you know prospects or potential customers and with your customers as well uh, to just provide a lot of value and build relationship, build trust with them and convert more sales um, with those email sequences or through those email sequences. It is definitely playing a huge role in increasing your um, ROI or return on investment or increasing your sales. So I would definitely suggest you to have those email sequences created. Again, if you want to learn more, go ahead and check out um, be below this video. Um, the link to my digital product creation course. That's where I go over and explain, you know, different, uh, like exactly step-by-step -step process of how to put these things together. Um, also, go ahead and check out another link that I have included here for you guys, where you can find other trainings on how to put together and set up um, specific things within Kartra. I have a playlist here on YouTube for you guys uh, with a lot of videos in there and how to do specific things uh, within Kartra that I offer for free for you guys as well. So go ahead and check out uh, the link below this video if you want to, um, for example, learn how to put together an email sequence uh, for that course or just any, you know, specific trainings on funnel creation or um, how to increase your conversions or anything like that, it's all linked below this video. Go ahead and also check out my website, katielendl.com for more value and more um, trainings as well. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Also, forgot to mention that if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family here. And I look forward to providing you guys a lot more value and trainings um, and I will talk to you in the next video.